Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah Hopper with another tutorial for the Tutorial Brothers. And today I've got a, um, I guess a little bit of a different tutorial, one I haven't seen in a while. Um, this is the camera following the path tutorial, or, or uh, really just an object to follow a path tutorial. Um, I guess it's kind of, kind of two parts, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to create a path in Blender and then how to create an item that will follow the path or the camera and I'll show you the results if you haven't already seen them and please excuse any sound you hear outside yes my brother got a tractor and it's loud so without further ado let's dive right in I'm using blender 2.66 alpha I believe let me splash screen yeah 2.66 and I just hit space to, to bring this uh, little uh, thing up and just start typing so yeah anyway uh, I'll start just by uh, deleting the default cube by hitting delete and then enter shift a and I'm going to add a curve no I'm not I'm going to add a yes I am gonna add a curve it's gonna be a, a path right there that guy and as you can see it's boring yeah nothing nothing to see here I hit F12 uh, so I'm gonna hit tab that brings us into edit mode. Hit 7 for top down view. Hit 5 to get us into orthographic. Hit A to deselect. And then B to select several different points. I'm going to use my scroll wheel here. Kind of move this thing around. Make it look all right using G, S, R. Actually, yeah, not S, but just G and, and R and. and, and well, so it's a view splinter, I guess. There we go. Right, let's go. There, just a simple path, I suppose. I'll bring this guy out further so we get a little bit longer. All right, so basic path here, and then I'm going to go ahead and select this origin here. Go over here to the let's untab here. Click origin here. Uh, origin geometry. Here we go. That dead just sent us the origin right in the center of our geometry. There's our path. Still, you, you're not going to be able to see anything here. So, uh, that's that. I'm going to hit Shift A, add a mesh cube. Probably going to scale that sucker down a little bit. Center it, position it right at that little uh, thing there. Essentially, hit Z for wireframe. Let me go ahead and put that origin right there, just because I'm OCD. I hit G and then use the arrow keys to position it there, just so you know. All right, I'm going to hit Z again to get back out of wireframe mode. Now, if I hit Alt-A, you can tell there's really nothing happening. So I'm going to go ahead and hold, um, hold Shift and select the uh, path, hit Control-P, and I'm going to hit Follow Path. Make sure you select the square first and then the path by holding down shift, right click that, hold shift, right click the path, so on. All right, now if I hit Alt-A, uh, if I hit Alt-A, you can see our cube follows the path pretty nicely, in fact. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit excuse me, hit shift S, cursor to center. Go ahead and Alt-A again. Looking good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly, well, no, that's it. That select that control P follow path now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this cube by hitting delete and then enter I'm gonna go ahead and grab this camera this guy yes this guy all right and I'm gonna go ahead and hit 7 hit alt R and alt do all G and then alt R that'll return res, put it to its default position and rotation G along the X G along the Y number three Rotate on the X 90 degrees. 7, rotate along the Z 180 degrees. Uh, back to this view. G along the Y. Scale this puppy down a little bit. Actually, yeah, there we go. G along the Y. G along the Z. Rotate along the X. Just so we get G along the Z, Y again. So we get a little bit of a... Uh, Let's go ahead and position here. G along the X. How are we on the front view? Looks 
fine to me. So you can just barely see that it is going to follow. But I'm not quite sure. All right. With the camera selected, we're going to go ahead and hold shift, select the uh, line, control P, follow path. Same thing. And the camera's going to follow the path. And it's going to stop at the end. So essentially what this will do is if you happen to do this, for instance, let's see, and then the cube, scale this down to 0.1. You just hit S and then type 0.1. G along the Y, G along the X. Let's go to the top down so I can see what I'm doing. G back along the Y, G along the X. Nope, I don't want to. What did that just do? Whoops, Control Z, Control Z. I'm sorry. G along the X. I hit X and not G. Deleted it. I'm probably going to scale this guy down a little bit more. Hit 1. G, 3, G. Looks good. Let's see what it looks like on here. All right. Let's move the camera down by right clicking the camera. Go back into 0. G along the Z. Whoop. Z. There. Now, if you watch closely, I didn't parent it. So, I'm going to right click. On both of those, Control P, follow path, Alt A, and the camera will follow the cube. Um, zero, Alt A, and it looks actually pretty cool. You can also add like other stuff around it. Uh, let's see, just to make it a little bit more cool, I suppose. Shift D. there actually and I'll not put too much detail into here I'll just just a couple go back into camera mode all day just so it looks a little bit cooler you know like we're actually going through stuff all right let me add a little bit more shift D along the Z G along the X because it's all about how cool it looks right G along the Y all right one more time one more time this is just too cool all right, there we go. And uh, yeah, so that's how you do that. You would uh, just select the thing you want to follow, select the path. Oh, and one thing to mention, I suppose, when you're editing this path, let's see, curve path, let's shove this guy over here. When you're editing it, you can also extrude it. I'm going to hit A. No, I'm not going to hit A. I'm going to hit Tab, hit, then hit A. By selecting this point and hitting E, you can extrude it out. And these lines here, those lines will tell you how fast the actual path, the, the object on the path will go. So these ones that are really tightly bunched right here, those will be really fast. And then here that are stretched out, these will go really slowly. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment down below. Um, comment, subscribe, like, favorite. All that jazz, and uh, make sure to uh, send us out to all your friends. And there is quite a big thing coming up, so it's a surprise, but uh, Steve has to do with it. Just thought I'd give that to you right now. I don't know why I said that. But, uh, yeah, so please feel free to do all that. And uh, Oh, and send us any videos that you have of this. This is really, we enjoy watching your videos every time. Thank you guys for being such faithful subscribers, and if you're not yet, we hope you become one, because as a subscriber, you get notified every time we have a competition, which people have won some pretty cool stuff, like money, and you can't really get cooler than money. So hit that subscribe button, guys, and I will see you all next time. Talk to you later. Bye.